Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. The information that we have been sharing all the way since April the 3rd about the U.S. getting ready to take down Damascus has definitely taken a new twist in actually confirming the reports that we have shared with you here on Israeli News Live. For those that have been skeptical about the reports that we have spoken about, RT News reporting to you here today on May the 18th, 2017, uh, in an article here, let me have a little trouble dealing with RT's uh, uh, web pages here with uh, some issues on being able to look at stuff in Russian news here lately. Anyway, U.S.-led coalition confirms airstrikes on pro-government convoy in Syria, citing threat to U.S. partner forces. So the U.S.-led coalition has confirmed that they have indeed uh, a struck inside of Syria here, they have actually struck a pro-Syrian government force uh, there near uh, the Jordanian-Syrian-Iraqi border. Now, uh, just let me see if I can bring this map up big enough here. It's really giving me a hard time on being able to even, uh, we'll have to, here we go, come back to this here, Ho hopefully not, but uh, they're just really giving us a hard time being able to see anything when it comes to RT News here on our Google on our Google search engine here. Uh, it's just like they do not want us to be able to search these different sites like this. But if you look here on your map here, the ATTANF uh, right here where the strike took place is in ins indeed inside the Syrian border there. As we reported before, uh, the U.S. and British and Jordanian forces are right located here on the border with Iraq, Syria, and Jordan, right there. They're there, they're also down here near Dada. Dada is just across the border here. And of course, in Beirut, Lebanon. And so we wanted to share a little bit of that information with you. Uh, going back to one report we did here, this is uh, US preparing to take down Damascus on May the 10th of 2017. Uh, actually, we will address this very same subject in our first uh, television broadcast in the United States on, on uh, satellite television here coming up here with, within, well, just a little over a week from now. We'll be updating you uh, soon enough about where that will take place at, the timing, etc., uh, so that you can also be a part of watching that. And of course, we do definitely need your support in bringing this broadcast uh, to uh, the Amer especially for those of our American viewers that are able to be able to watch that. We certainly encourage your help and support in this endeavor. But uh, moving on as well, uh, this article here came out on April the 3rd, 2017. They were actually citing another uh, article that we had done on this, U.S. moves military equipment in striking distance of Damascus. Uh, and this is where we were talking about exactly what I was showing you here. And, and in fact, on this particular clip of the video, it actually has the Israeli website, Russian language website that we were using in this clip right here, um, that uh, they were writing about the fact that the U.S., uh, British, and Jordanian forces were working together in that very location that I just shared with you a moment ago. So... It is confirmed the U.S. has admitted their coalition that they have struck uh, uh, Syrian positions. They have bombed a militia group fighting alongside the Syrian government forces in the southern Syria on Thursday. The U.S.-led coalition has confirmed this. The coalition said in a statement that the Syrian forces posed a threat to U.S. and partner troops at a Tanaf base near the Syrian-Iraq-Jordanian border. Uh, there is conflicting reports, though. Uh, according to the U.S., they said that they had given warning to this group that was moving near and uh, had warned them. And, of course, the, their, the Syrians are saying that this was never the case. Uh, I believe Russia was trying to get the U.S. to stand down and not actually strike the Syrian forces there. So, nonetheless, it is escalating the situation and could easily spiral this completely out of control. Uh, also, moving on into other news as well, uh, or actually, let me just kind of touch on this as well. This was the from Sam Drew on his uh, Twitter page. He had shared with us recently here uh, the um, one of the drone bases that's also located in that area there as well. So, uh, whether or not I think it was a, a bomber, a, a coalition bomber that actually struck this convoy, but there is a drone surveillance that's being done right there across the border. 
So it still comes to, as we've been saying all along, the U.S., British, uh, and other allied forces there are planning an attack on Damascus. And it looks like with the Syrian government, maybe they're trying to inch down there a little bit closer to get a little intel about what the U.S. and, and, uh, and British forces are doing, but get a little bit too close and you get whacked out. That's one thing for sure. So uh, continuing on in other news as well. Very interesting, uh, 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 this is on Lorenzo's page, already happened. A cargo passenger ferry servicing linking Russia and North Korea has been launched. Um, and of course, well, we can't play the video on that now. I wish I could have though for you. But anyway, uh, we mentioned that to you yesterday. And yes, that ferry has for the first time actually sailed to Russia, coming across that little channel of water there. And it has certainly infuriated the international community that Russia is reaching a hand out to North Korea. Uh, but I kind of think that Russia does this more or less intentionally, uh, seeing that they have the sanctions on Russia. Russia is like, well, you got sanctions on us, so we'll do business with everybody that you seem to hate. Uh, that seems to be the, uh, the way that Russia deals with that. This is something I caught. This is on uh, Wally's uh, uh, Twitter page here. I thought it was very interesting, and I think it's something that everyone should be aware of. This is the famous white helmets. They're gonna, you're going to see them in just a moment. They are there watching an execution that is taking place. Uh, this is actually an execution right there at Dara. Anyone still defending this scum as an accessory to murder in Syria? says uh, Wally to, uh, in his comment, excuse me, on this. And uh, I have to agree with Wally on that. It, it, this is horrendous. And this is the very famous group that the U.S. has made famous by, you know, giving them some kind of Oscar winning for their acting. Well, yeah, they are definitely good actors, but the problem is they're realistic actors uh, living in real time uh, of the things that are going on there. And, of course, their acting, though, is faking there's a lot of the drama, but things like this, this is the reality of what they really do. Take a really close look at what happens. It is graphic. Let me warn you now before we play this. Uh, this man will be shot in the back of the head at point blank range. All right, so just keep this in mind uh, before you see that there. In fact, I think what we will do, well, I can't do it like that there. Anyway, just, just please be aware of that. And um, so if you have small children that are watching uh, excuse them from the room here, but let's go ahead because we want to roll this so you can see what actually happens with the white helmets as they come and immediately and pick up the body. The man has been shot. I turned the volume off on this one here, guys. There's your white helmets. They have the helmets on. They have their shirts on. You can see the emblem on there. Man, blood pouring out of his head and everything. They cover him up and they, and they take him right off. So this is what the white helmets do. They participate. And you can see other white helmets there in the background as well. Uh, but the camera's moving very quickly there. This is the type of people that the U.S. Uh, is using to be able to uh, back their intelligence of what's going on inside of Syria. The very thugs that assassinate Syrians and participate as a part of it. Very sad. Very sad indeed. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.